So hello everybody and welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be talking to you about if you should buy Fallout 4. So I'm going to give you the goods and the bad things about this game. There's not, not many bad things actually. So most of it's going to be good and I'm going to try and persuade you to buy this game on PC, PS4 or Xbox One. So I'll start off by telling you guys what Fallout is. Um, I'm guessing by now most people know what Fallout is, but in case you don't, I'll quickly describe it for you. So it's in a post-apocalyptic role-playing game, which is developed by Bethesda Studios, and it's also published by Bethesda. Um, it's the fifth major instalment in the game, and it was released on Microsoft Windows, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One on November the 10th, 2015. So I'll start off by giving you the quick setting and the story of the game. So you are a player who is the sole survivor of Vault 11, and you emerge about 210 years after the Great Nuclear War. You start off with a wife and a child, unfortunately your child gets taken and your wife is killed. So you come out of this Vault 11 alone, and you are made to survive in Massachusetts or Boston, so this is where this game is set, after a huge nuke has gone off and wiped everything out. So the game takes place in the year 2287, and this is a decade after Fallout 3 and six years after Fallout New Vegas. So I'll give you a quick fun fact, uh, Fallout 4 is going to have 111,000 lines of dialogue, so this is more than Fallout 3 and Skyrim put together. So there's one ability on this game which differentiates it from all the others, so your ability to be able to build your own settlement and gather resources and survivors to defend what you create from the enemy called the Raiders who try and steal your resources and gain more power than you. You can also make more than one settlement around the world, and you can also send caravans between the towns to exchange resources and gather more resources in one place. Another thing that I've discovered so far in this game is that the top right hand corner of the map is faded red and the bottom left hand corner is blue and it slowly fades between the two in the middle. So this is showing you that the red is the harder part of the map, so this is where you're more likely to find better weapons, better armour, but harder enemies, so more legendary death claws and ghouls and that kind of stuff. And in the bottom left hand corner you're going to find easier enemies which you can kill with ease because you've just started off, you haven't got the best weapons and you need to be able to kill them quickly. So I advise you to start off in the bottom left hand corner, complete some quests down there and slowly make your way up. But if you're really good then jump straight into the red, get yourself some of them good weapons. So another major thing from Fallout 4 which was not in Fallout 3 is there is no level cap. So this means it allows players to experience a little more freedom when it comes to exploring and fighting enemies so this was another feature which was confirmed by Bethesda and it also allows you to explore even when the game is finished so this kind of gives you the opportunity to feel the aftermath of your recent decisions or decisions you made at the start of the game and also there is a weapon system where you can upgrade and add mods to your weapons so with all the information I've given you guys so far and everything good about the game there's not really many bad things that you can come up with unless you were to sit there and analyze it but I don't do that kind of thing I look at the fun factor of the game and how how long you can play it without getting bored. So as I said before, I played about seven hours of this game and I just want to go carry on playing. I didn't play Fallout 3 and I hardly played Fallout New Vegas. I didn't really have much interest in it. And I bought Fallout 4 because, you know, I just wanted to see if I'd get into it and I have. So this is the first time I've played Fallout properly and believe me, it's definitely worth the money. So you get what you pay for. The world is huge, so you really don't know how things to do. And would I advise you buying this game? Yes, definitely. Get it as soon as you can. Um, I play it on PC, and it's really... It's... Uh, it's the controls are varied, so sometimes they're a bit complicated and difficult to use. But personally, I'd say play it on console, because it's much more fun. And, yeah, definitely get this game. I hope you enjoy it. Leave a comment down below and tell me what you think. And I'll see you next time.